Welcome to Big Daddy's Storytime. We're reading Winnie the Pooh, King of the Beasties. One day, while he was looking at pictures of wild animals, Tigger realized that he was related to the lion, the king of the beasties. I must be king. I must be a king too, said Tigger. We don't need a king, said Owl. Well, if a wild jaguar was on the loose, Tigger asked, who would protect you? Hmm, said Pooh. Tigger had a plan. He stopped by Rabbit's house when Rabbit wasn't home and borrowed a tablecloth, a pillow, and a broom. Then, using Rabbit's things, Tigger made a fierce-looking jaguar and hung it from a tree. I didn't want to scare him too much, he said to himself. I just want him to make me king. Soon, everyone came near. Tigger began to bounce up and down. Jaguar, Jaguar, he cried. Run for your lives. Tigger ran up to the Jaguar and gave it a few fierce whacks with a stick. Then he tossed the Jaguar into a cage. Hur Hooray for Tigger, cried Pooh. He saved us. Tigger should be king. And so, just as he wanted, Tigger was crowned king of the Hundred Acre Wood. He began acting like a king right away. First of all, commanded Tigger, or King Tigger, that is, from now on and forever after the Hundred Acre Wood shall be known as Tiggeropolis. Next, King Tigger commanded his subjects to paint the trees in Tiggeropolis royal orange and black. Then he ordered everyone to bounce. But my feet are tired from all that painting, Pooh complained. Without saying a word, Tigger pointed to the caged jaguar. Pooh quickly began to bounce. He knew he should not argue with a king. Later, Rabbit wandered by. Hmm, he said to himself, that looks like my tablecloth, and that's my pillow. If Tigger wanted to borrow my things, he should have asked. I'll teach that t Tigger a lesson. Rabbit grabbed the, the jaguar left a note in its place, and went home. Soon Owl came by and saw the note. He read it to King Tigger. I've, I've freed my friend and taken him with me, signed another Jaguar. Oops, Tigger muttered under his breath. This new Jaguar is probably real. So he sounded the alarm. Everyone, head for the hills, he yelled. But Pooh just stood there scratching his head. Shouldn't we try to capture the Jaguar? he asked. You'll have to protect us, King Tigger, Piglet added. You're right, answered Tigger, gulping. Okay, everybody follow me. The jaguar's tracks led straight to Rabbit's house. Tigger burst through the door. It's the jaguar, he shouted, pouncing on the beast. Tigger, Rabbit yelled, that's my tablecloth. It, it is, said Tigger, embarrassed. Oh, so it is. But don't forget, he added, there's still that other jaguar out there, the one who wrote the note. There is no other Jaguar, Rabbit declared. I wrote the note. I don't understand, King Tigger, said Piglet in a small voice. 
Tigger hung his head. I've got a confession to make, he said. I, I made up the Jaguar because I wanted so much to be king. I guess I got carried away, he, he sniffed. Oh, I am sorry. I suppose we could forgive you, Tigger, Piglet said. After all, you are our friend. That's right, said Tigger, looking around happily. I'm your friend. But what about all that painting and bouncing? Pooh asked. I promise I won't ever do that stuff again, declared Tigger. Come on, let's have a king uncrowning. Afterward, the former king declared, I feel like a new Tigger, a bouncier Tigger. Even if I'm not king, I'm still Tigger. That's true, said Rabbit with a sigh. Tigger grinned, and I'm the only one. As we have learned, my friends, friendship is priceless. We should be, we should be 100% truthful to our friends and remain truthful at all times. And don't tell lies like, like Tigger did. Okay, thank you for stopping in at Big Daddy's Storytime. Stay, stay tuned for more videos, and God bless.